morning, it's Saturday, and I have spent the better part of my week, obviously not cleaning this. I have spent the better part of my week not cleaning my house because I've been trying to refurbish a clock. I've been watching so many videos about clock repair. It's an old antique mantle clock that I found at a thrift store for five bucks, and it's a really nice clock, and I've been refurbishing it. I've gotten the shell to look really pretty, but I cannot get them mechanism the movement to work properly so i've been watching all of these videos of like people repairing clocks and how to take them apart and put them back together and clean them and oil them properly and i am determined to get there i've taken it apart for the second time just to inspect all of the cogs and wheels to make sure that it is not that nothing is bent or broken or anything like that and i've got it soaking in some solution to clean it at the moment <laughs> But it has put me at a bit of a loss for what to do for a video this week. I thought that this clock would actually be pretty easy to get back together. Turns out to have been slightly more of a challenge. And the last time I left you guys, I was working on my dining room. So we're returning to the dining room saga. If we head over this way, we see what I've done. This is what I've been working on all week. I've started painting whenever I'm not in clock mode. I started painting in these peonies, uh, peonies? Wow, okay, that's what I'm doing in my bedroom. I started painting in these morning glories and some lattice work. The lattice work is probably not how it's going to stay because I kind of drafted this up a while ago and I'm not totally happy with it. The peonies are also in a bit of a sad 80s colour scheme at the moment, but don't worry, they will be fixed. I'm going to mix in some red with the green paint that I've mixed up to get a more standard kind of foresty browny green um, to look a little better and I'm gonna start detail work on the peonies, detail work on the openings and hopefully the lattice as well. I'm not 100% sure what color I want the lattice to go but I don't want it to be this bright of a white, I think I want to go more of a bone color with it. Just a little bit more muted, just a little bit more muted even though the um, the trim around the doors is a very like enamel white um, that I have not finished yet. But that is where I'm up to today. I'm in my paint clothes again, my little paint track pants. Um, I've also been painting while sitting over this bowl of cat food and you can see there's like all my mess and my camera and an eraser on the ground and the cats have like spilled their food everywhere. And also, if you did not know, sitting above a bowl of cat kibble is disgusting. It smells awful. <laughs> so that's been fun. But yeah, this is currently where we're at. And you guys seem to like the last dining room video. So I'm gonna continue with the dining room saga and put together a little playlist, I think, of everything that I've been doing to make the dining room pretty.
All right, that is looking a whole lot better. I still want to warm the colors up quite a bit more and brighten them a little bit because they're pulling just a bit too cool next to how warm this gray is. I'm also having a lot of trouble focusing on this area. Um, I've sketched in this little crown and this little tail down the bottom here to add some interest to the frames that the Morning Glory is set in. But yeah, I really like this leaf. I think this leaf looks really good. It just needs a bit better outline work and maybe some more vein detail. And then I want to get these into similar colors, but just fading into darker colors at the back. And then just, yeah, brighten and warm up all of the flowers and the general look. And then I'm going to start figuring out... Ugh. Then I'm going to start figuring out what colors I want for the lattice and how I want to shadow it. I am thinking something in the realm of like a warm bone color. I don't know if this gray looks warm on camera, but it is, even though it's kind of purpley. It's like a brownie purple undertone to it. Um, but yeah, it's getting there. I really like ooh, here on this little bud, this sort of watercolory effect. I just want to make these outlines a bit stronger.